Does the trailer for the second season of House of the Dragon connect to the death of Lucerys? One of the most controversial theories on this channel is the theory that talks about what happened to Lucerys after being attacked by Amond in Storm's End. This theory proposes that the young prince survived by falling into the sea, a theory that although it could be considered crazy by some, has its origins in the very history of House of the Dragon. This theory could change everything we know about the Dance of the Dragons, and could make sense of something we saw during the trailer of the second season. Do you want to know why Rhaenyra really is at Storm's End? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we get into the Lucerys clues in this new trailer for House of the Dragon, we must first talk about the theory itself, and where the rumors that the prince is alive stem from. The first thing we must understand, as I mentioned in the first video where I talked about this theory, is that this is not a theory from the internet, or from some YouTuber. This is a theory that comes straight out of the books. The biggest clue as to what happened to Lucerys after he fell, can be found in the book Fire and Blood, which was used to adapt the House of the Dragon series. This book reveals to us several rumors about what people said happened to the young prince. The book says the following. If there was a fight, it must not have been a long one. Lucerus's dragon Arax was torn to pieces and swallowed by the storm-lashed waters of the bay. Its head and neck washed up three days later beneath the cliffs below Storm's End to make a feast for crabs and seagulls. Mushroom claims that Prince Lucerus's corpse washed up as well though that tale seems too excessive to be true. Some say that Vagar tore Lucerus from his dragon's back and swallowed him in one bite. There are others who claim that the prince survived the fall and swam to safety, but lost any memory of who he was and spent the rest of his days as a fisherman without memory. The writer then proceeds to invalidate these rumors, stating that Lucerus did die with his dragon. But the interesting thing is that the book presents to us several rumors about what people near the place where the battle occurred were saying. But what really happened that day? The books of A Song of Ice and Fire and Fire and Blood, which serve as the basis for House of the Dragon series, do not give a detailed description of how Lucerus Valerian lost his life. However, in the television adaptation, this crucial event is more explicitly depicted. In the series, we note that for Aemon Targaryen, the confrontation with Lucerys was nothing more than a sadistic game. Aemond had no real intention of killing Lucerys. However, his cruel game resulted in the tragic death of the young prince. This turn of events was dramatically emphasized by the intervention of Vagar, an experienced and powerful dragon that was not playing at all. The death of Lucerys has a profound and heartbreaking effect on Rhaenyra Targaryen. In the previews of the series, we can see how this event propels Rhaenyra onto a much darker and violent path, unleashing a side of her character that had not been explored until then. We can see Rhaenyra flying her dragon Cyrax, her on the shores of a beach in what appears to be Storm's End, where we can see her quite sad, and on her face we can see the marks of ash or smoke, as if she had been in combat. This is where the trailer and the Lucerys theory come together. We know that Lucerys lost his life at Storm's End, and that subsequent to that, Amond arrived at King's Landing, where what the prince did was celebrated. It is possible that at this time, different rumors began to reach Rhaenyra about Lucerys's death. The same rumors we read in the books. Some people told the queen that Lucerys had been devoured by Vagar. Others, that the young prince was eaten by crabs and fish, and other rumors claimed that he was alive, but did not remember anyone. This mixture of rumors could be why Mushroom mentioned that so many things were being said. Perhaps Rhaenyra could not stand so many rumors, and decided to go to Storm's End herself to verify whether or not her son is alive. In the books, Rhaenyra does not arrive at this place, or at least this is not mentioned. 
But let's remember that the books are abridged versions of what happened, and we don't really know everything that actually happened during the Dance of the Dragons. This opens the door to three possibilities. The first is that, based on these rumors, Rhaenyra arrives at Storm's End, but finds nothing. This could lead her to get even more upset and attack Storm's End. This would explain why she has her face dirty like this. The second possibility is that she actually finds Lucerys and lets him have a life away from politics. I don't think this option is possible because unlike her ex-husband Lenor, who got a second chance and escaped alive, I don't think Lucerys could have withstood the fall and Vagar's attack. And the third option, and I think the cruelest of all, is that Rhaenyra upon arriving at Storm's End, sees traces of Lucerys's dragon and himself. This could be quite a shocking and dark scene, something like what George Martin mentioned would happen in the first two episodes. If this actually happens, this scene could mentally destroy Rhaenyra and could explain why she appears to be in a battle as she might try to seek revenge. Perhaps a scene of Rhaenyra watching this at Storm's End as blood and cheese enter the castle in search of the heirs, would be a scene that would bring tears to more than one's eyes. But tell me, what do you think of the theory that Lucerys is alive? Also, tell me about the possibility of Rhaenyra seeing her son's remains at Storm's End. And for more videos from A Song of Ice and Fire Universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on The Three-Eyed Raven. Before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know that the videos on this channel are based on both the Game of Thrones and the House of the Dragon series, as well as the books by George Martin. If you want to learn more about this universe, I'm going to leave you our affiliate link in the description, where you can order the books or their audible version. And if you like the official t-shirts of this channel, you will also find the link to our store to order your favorite piece. Thank you for your support. And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on The Three-Eyed Raven.